Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today's March 17, 2024, and it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. I got this last night at 12.54 a.m. I was ready to go to sleep, and all of a sudden I got, I got the beginning of this, and it just kind of blew my mind. It, it started out, are you ready? Because ready or not, here it comes. And I was like, what? That's like when we used to play tag. Used to count, ready or not, here I come. So God always makes reference to things that we know, we remember. And when you hear this, it, it's going to be amazing the way he put this together. He just constantly does that. And that's how I know it's him because I know there's no way my mind that fast could come up with things like this. And it's words that I don't even use. So we thank you, Father, for your words of encouragement. You're, you're preparing us for things that are coming on the earth and what we need to do about it. So we rebuke the evil going on in Jesus Yeshua's name. All right. Are you ready? Because ready or not, here it comes. It's going to make you feel numb. You'll be picking up each crumb for nothing will go to waste. It will seem like one big mistake. But again, I will tell you not to forget or regret that my heart allowed this to be so this woe for repentance has to take place from Biden's mistakes and all the evil that he has done coming against the teachings of my son when he learned the truth and decided to go poof with his false sincerity it's a depravity and everyone will feel this crunch no one will be going out to lunch but will be buckling down during this losing of his crown and the spirits from the men of renown. Keep your eyes on the answer, not this governmental cancer, and know their false good and plenty was a lie, right down to the fake apple pie that got thrown in the eye. And this cannot be denied. The enemy tried, but oh, how he failed. They even tried to throw Trump in jail, but they failed. Touch not my anointed. He is appointed to help save America. Make sure all of you remember and do your part for evil to be thwart. Love your father in heaven. I am getting rid of the leaven. Amazing. Amazing how he even puts in there. The spirits of renown, the men of renown. We know what that is, folks. That's in Genesis when the angels had sex with human beings and created what was called men of renown, the giants. And then God created the flood. And what happened was they all died and their spirits are still roaming on the earth everywhere, looking whom they may devour. They're looking for human beings so they can manipulate them. And that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with demonic entities that are out there manipulating people. Because what they're doing, there's no common sense in it. There's no rationalizing it. It's just outright abominations, reprobate minds. It doesn't even make sense. So when something doesn't make sense, it comes from a source that's not pure. So another thing he said at the end of that, make sure we do, we play our part in thwarting evil. In other words, stopping evil. Well, he gave us his prayer and this is the prayer he told us to pray every day. I have it out on the website. I have it out on X. I have it out on my Facebook page. I got this on my birthday, January 4th. This year at 12 PM, I got this and I put this out and it's from the Lord. And he told us to pray this every day. And Gary and I have not missed one day. Every time I'm a busy about my business, all of a sudden, boom, the spirit quickens me to do it. And then Gary and I read it because it's a prayer and we're all praying it in one mind and one accord. And the more do this, the more power there is in thwarting evil. Father, we beseech you to intervene. We're asking God to intervene against all the enemy's schemes and to stop evil from having the power in the White House. Please help us, Father, to keep evil quiet as a mouse. 
and remove those who would seek to destroy our country with their evil, false good and plenty and give us back truth, honesty, and faith. We are tired of evil's face. We use your name, Lord, so we cannot be ignored. And may the power and fire of God destroy all the mobs. And let freedom's bell ring so we can all once again sing. Thank you, Father, Son, and Spirit. May evil hear it in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. And he gave us his name to use. And when you use that name and you pray or you rebuke, there's, there's power that comes with that. Don't forget the conference. We still have tickets available. Get your tickets. Don't miss it. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. The sun's out. It just snow is coming down. Wow. The sun's actually shining. Crazy weather. Don't forget the conference. Tickets are available. It's going to be very powerful. The Holy Spirit's going to be moving with power and fire. Um, don't forget um, the Lois Live, the first Saturday of every month at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget what does God think. The next one's going to be what does God think of reprobate minds. I just did the last one, if you haven't seen it yet, about what does God think of our pets. It was really very moving. And keep the prayers going. And remember... He put out the message, the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. That was the 15th. Lindell, Mike Lindell, just put a, a whole thing out to the Supreme Court and it got accepted with the voting machines. And he actually sent a thing about the actual case that went before there. I haven't actually looked at it yet. But it's basically in how they can be hacked, how easily they can cheat in the elections. So this before the Supreme Court right now, when we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus that they stop <laughs> the, the cheating that's going on in this country in our elections. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you, Father, that you are moving forward. You are kicking back evil everywhere. Doesn't mean we're not in the battle. And it doesn't mean, you know, it might look like something's not happening in one place. But in general, we're taking back the White House. And make sure we pray and make sure we vote. Don't sit back in your house and not get out and vote the man that God has called, which is Trump. Don't look at his personality. Don't, don't say, well, I don't really want him as my president. Think of what he did for the four years he was in there. He made America great again in many ways. We want America to be blessed again. But he always pray, prays for God's blessing to be on this country. So... Keep the faith and keep praying that he gets really moved by the Holy Spirit. We want people in the White House that love the Lord and listen to the Holy Spirit. So I'll be back when he sends me back again. Gary and I love you very much. Make sure you keep Gary and I in prayer. We are doing a conference, which is going to be extremely powerful in the spirit. And the devil doesn't like it. So make sure you have us in prayer before the Father that he keeps us safe and protected from the enemy. And, and we pray for one another always, obviously. So have a blessed day. I'll be back when he sends me back again.